Blessings peeps and uh, welcome back to Elite Jamaica. Today guys we are in well we are in Port Marant at the moment but we'll be heading out heading out to a place called Bart at right, community of Bart where Bart Fountain is located. I'll be giving you guys an historical tour of the community of Bart alright so yeah I'll check that out and in the meantime watch the intro. I do not have a crazy story to tell like I dropped out of college or I quit my job and travel the world. I'm just a normal person. With passions, I am willing to pursue. Follow me on my journey as I show you what I accomplish. I am Alex and this is Elite Jamaica. Alex, I am in the national dish, you know? <laughs> That's what? Yeah. In the national dish? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah guys, this is the town of Port Marant. Yeah peeps. All are who familiar with Port Marant type Port Marant in the comment section down below. Clarity Flex TV, YouTube, subscribe to the channel and I put a link in the description. Right? Where's your shop name now? Mass U. Mass shop. Yeah. And it's been here how long? Uh, long time. From like about the 50s. From the 50s? Before that. That's a long time. Alright peeps, so the point we now. Yeah man. So I'm here with Clarity Flex TV, YouTube. You can run over and subscribe to this channel, all right? Yeah, man. Also, Jamaica Island Flicks. And guess what, one peeps? Clarity Flex TV, a Jamaica Island Flicks uncle, is it? So, yeah, man. So, you know, people. So, yeah. Where are you dealing? Give me one message where you are for Jamaican people. Come know you are driving. Openness, live clean, people. One, one love, openness. All right. Blessings. Jamaica, Island Flix, over yeah, there, sir. I must set up in game plan stuff. Yeah, man. Apes, wherever they plan their head. So, yeah, man, I'll follow up. Where are you Yeah, peeps, the best jerk yeah. chicken in a Port Marant. Yeah, man. Where are you, bro? Schemas. Schemas. Yeah. Big up schemas. Peeps, you start schemas in the comment section down, down below. Yeah. Bless up family. Big up man, is it? Yeah, peeps. So, we are in a place called Nickel Hill at the Heritage Estate. Alright? And this is Togo Heritage that is here with me. He's the person in control of the Heritage Estate. And we have got all our reasons with Togo Heritage and learn the history about this place and all of that. And then we can move forward. Alright? So, now watch this. Yes, Togo, so we're on the inside grounds. But before we go further, may I ask you two basic questions uh, about your community, right? What to, what main thing you love about the community where you live in, Port Marant? What's the best thing about this community? Well, this community differently is a peaceful community. Okay. But a number one. True. Ones are ones around the place is real of it. Okay. Although you don't know and everybody have love. And that is something so, for, that is something for you admire about the community. Yes, for real. Well, it's around the side. Yeah. True, true. Because we're not really getting bad news. Ah, right. Area, you see that? True. Which is right. 
I want to get no bad news about Port Morant. No, so, Port Morant, good. Mm -hmm. Alright. Let me ask you the next question. And with the answer still, I don't think that question is really relevant, but I ask you the same way. If there was one thing we could change about your community of Port Morant, what would it be? Right now, when I know you check for, for your and I community, mm -hmm. it's some more development for the youth, let me find this. Thing, you see me? So more development. The trade thing and trade center and stuff like that. Yeah. Now and get somebody out there where a whole things well. I said where them a whole things are run. Get them off of the road and put them in a something. You see me? True. In a so something yeah. like in a something or in a job. In a job. Okay, cause you know yeah, there are persons on the street. I, I can't hear anything still, that you know? statement, you know, the youth them a road where all things to take them off of the road and put them in a something that could be in the jail cell because there are a lot of same persons way. on the street who are worth some something with enough here. And we have to same talk same reality same. though. But there are youths on the, youth on the street where we can take them off of the street and put them in our job. In our and that's something too. Yes, sir. Yeah, man. So, I could take a little tour of the place. Yeah, peeps. Uh, Island Flex. Jamaica Island Flex. Big up. I'm going to run over and subscribe to Island Flex channel now. <coughs> Clarity Flex TV. One that love. are the uncle of Jamaica Island Flex. One yeah, man. Love. Run over. As they say, my word, upfulness. Upfulness. Alright. Yeah, peeps. Lovely view over there. Yeah, yeah, skating yeah, yeah, yeah. rink. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Finish up. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, guys, there's another magnificent view over there. Not gonna be able to see it properly, but <coughs> I see if we can show now a little part of it between the bushes over there. Really great view. Yeah, Pete, so we're on the Heritage Estate. Whoa, it's really an estate mansion for real peeps. You know, beautiful place. But you know guys, I can't leave out the views. I have to show them the views. Here we go guys. Beautiful view over there off the mountainside. With a very dangerous drop off down there. You know. But it's all lovely. Yeah. All right. So I know I always have something lovely to show y'all. And whereas I'm not filming for so long, I know I have to show you something proper today. Go check this out. This is such a beautiful view, guys. And such a good vantage point also. Yeah guys, if you wanna like this view, click the like button. And if you love it, subscribe to the channel. Hit the subscribe button, that's the red one. This banana farm. Lovely banana walk. Big up the Portman people, them you know, come see them love farming. And remember guys, we are at the Heritage Estate. Type the heritage estate in the comment section down below. Alright. Yeah. Shout out to Larry Complex. And this again. Go over and subscribe to their channel. Yeah, man. So we are now leaving the community of Port Morant and we are on our way to the community of Bath. That is where the Bath Fountain is located. And you can show that too. 
and a couple other sites. Right? right now we are past the, the Sun what the Sun Island Gully. Sun Enterprise. Sun Enterprise Gully. Um, it got this name because a bus called the, the Sun Enterprise went over there and the persons lost their lives in that accident. You know it going to Jamaica. Something like that happened. most likely is how it can So yeah, we have we have about this. We're still on our way to the Bath community, but now I've just found the Potosi plantation and great house. I think I'm gonna see remnants also. So we we'll just drive in and we'll see if we can get like to go ahead for flimmers eat. I'm not sure so I'm still in the meantime. Hey guys, so this is the surroundings of the Potosi plantation. As you notice, they have rebuilt. This is a warehouse, but this is also old. This is not being used. You know, every plantation of a bus where them used to carry the workers out to lunch. You know, so this is one of them. That's still the warehouse over there. Uh, I was say hi to the goat yeah. Big up Billy. Type Billy in the comment section down below. Yeah, guys. So, dog, I run or come. Peeps, and I know I'm afraid of dog and cow. So, I notice my job a while ago. Yeah, man, hold him. I hold it for them, man. I hold it for them. Peeps, I back up right now. Yeah, we are drive go up there. <laughs> We don't have pandas up there. I think you have some control. See a bone you are training all the way up on there. It's a horse, sir. No, it's not. Good afternoon. So that's the background right there. And now I'm gonna be showing you the structure itself. Now no look on this. You see that? As you know, I'm gonna be giving you guys information about this structure as soon as I get home and start to edit because I haven't got the information right now. But this seems to have been a very large structure. The Petosi Great House peeps, type the Potosi Great House in the comment section down below. Are you know? Are the Potosi, Potosi Great House? Yeah. Yeah, guys. Come be part of history, bro. And it seems like it was much higher. As you know, guys, these buildings, they use a lot of board. So at times when these buildings get old, then the board will give way, it will get rotten, and you know the building, you know, there, it's a tunnel down there. Guys, and I see how fine now, like, this is a great fine, I'm not sure what's down there, but that's like an archway, one tunnel, gone down there so yeah peeps I'm not sure what that is so I'll try to find out and let you guys know while editing alright I won't be able to go much further back but there should be other buildings around the back as me I got shown you I shown all of that oh a water wheel was here guys so since the water wheel was here I think this should have been the spillway coming from up there and going down push the water because they always have a spillway i'm not sure what this is guys but i'll let you guys know as soon as i'm updating this video all right yo we find one tunnel along here so we're going to weed on this you know <laughs> yeah you know what i'm going to do yes sir don't do weed on the look i feel like i still have all my shades <laughs> come look come look right now yeah peeps this is really a great feeling. I'm gonna think we still have to find another one because this is the historic tour of Bath St. Thomas. Alright. Yeah, man. So, this is the Petosi Great House, guys. There should be a water wheel close by. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to find it, but I'm gonna see if we can find it. And it seems to have a second story down there, you know. It was a two story, guys, as I noticed. 
Like. Yeah, man. So, peeps, you know, I'm do a video this morning. Like, I do the video yesterday. Work on it the whole night. This morning, again, me I work on it. Export the video. Have the video upload. I needed some space for my phone. So, I'm going to delete some files and end up delete the video before it finished upload. So, I lost that video. So, I had to come on the road to try to get back some clips. So, here we go, guys. Yeah. Going to the map. There's another piece of building right here. Not sure what this was, but I thought the water water wheel would have been down here, but it's not. Let me see around here. This is the back of the warehouse structure. This is the back of the warehouse structure, guys. This is another warehouse structure. This is old also, as you notice, on slave plantations. Each plantation always developed and started a different business. So this was another of the warehouse in more modern times. Me can walk through this, Ella? Ah, uh, respect. Blessings. Oh, well then. Yeah, yeah man. Big up here and talk, yeah? yeah. Alright. Yeah, guys. So, this was... This was the Potosi Great House. Now, I'm going to show you something like one well over here, sir. Let me show you the pass. This is like a well. The peeps, you know, so them dog, them not about it, no, they just bark. I never near them, no bother. Yeah, guys. Seems like it was a well uh, where them deal with water. Yeah, man. Not sure what this is, guys, but as soon as we see the diagram of this place, then we will know exactly what was. So guys, we were just about leaving and. Coming outside, me I said, no nah, man, you know so the water wheel is supposed to be somewhere around here, so because the person who I bring me in, know the place, me never come around yet. But just up there, about five minutes ago, I'm going to come up and me and I said, no, but the one full of great houses and history sites, and them go see the Petrosi Great House when we're right there. But now come out on the road, me see this peeps. I mean, no, so the water wheel is there close, but the water wheel was here before the road was built. And that is why this column, this structure is so close to the road, and it looked like a corner column. See guys, uh, I almost have reached recording limit on the phone here. I mean, oh, I'm going to start this up, but I have to get all of this vlog completed. So here is the corner wall, guys, of another structure. I'm not sure if the water wheel was here, or if this is the corner wheel of that water wheel. So we are now in the plant and garden district, heading up to Bath Fountain, to the community of Bath. Uh, when you want to get off the darkest ground the gravity pulls you straight down earth from a bird's eye view you should grow feathers and see this too when you want So we have a bad situation. Like, just I try to get some drone footage. Crash the drone. And I show a picture that scratch up, but not not doing still. But now the other drone for Jamaica Island fix is stuck at top of our house So I'm gonna see if it's where they're going. Let them can get it back or what? So yeah, that way I do. That way I look. Yeah. Jamaica Island flicks and his uncle gone up there. Up on top of the hill. I'm asking how much you care. You know. So a big gust of wind just come up and box my drone in our tree and box few moon over from one top of my house. The fortunate thing is that Yaman yeah, bless her. Yaman. Yeah, 
the fortunate thing is that I got mine back. I have two broken propellers, but I have replacement propellers. Just hope, really I hope and a person retrieve this from up there. Although it seems like I get it still, so, you know. Yeah, guys. So, guys, George crash up on them things to the it have an impact with the tree and then fall. However, it's not damaged, so give thanks, is it? Yeah, man, we're on our way. <laughs> yeah, give thanks, you know? We're on our way to the botanical gardens. You now, this and the other Joan, this is my friend Joan. Not damaged either, just some scratch. You now, me get white scratch and get green scratch, you know? But, uh, you know, the greatest thing is that no damage is alright. They are paid, so we're on our way, on the follow way. So we have finally arrived in the community of Bath and just as we reach, we see our next piece of history. Alright, I'm gonna show you that guys. Alright, now follow me. Yeah guys, this is another structure right here. As you know we found the perfect similar replica to this over at the Alan the Great House which was basically almost the same thing this seems as if it was indeed a house just like over at the Alanda Great House. Alright, so yeah man, let me see if I can show now a different view. So here there are kids playing and all of that. Here guys. So this is another structure. You're up here in Bath. We're actually in the Bath community now. Heading to the botanical gardens. Alright, no follow me. So I'll tell you guys what the structure is. I'll get some information about the structure and let you all know what was that structure for. So you all can know. Alright. We are now in the community of Bart and I'll be showing you all the botanical garden shot. Uh, it's a square about you. I'm going to show you all the own footage of the botanical gardens and of this community. Alright, let me check this out.
Hey guys, welcome to the Bath Botanical Gardens. We are in Bath St. Thomas. Bath Botanical Gardens. Now, here's another structure just like what we found up there and uh, the one that we found at the island Great House, you know. So this is basically the same thing we just found up there. As you notice. So it seems they built these along with the botanical gardens. They built these to like entrance to the gardens or something like that. I'm not sure. But yeah, it's a serene feeling here. Really. Really a serene feeling here. So guys, as you know, the Bot Botanical Gardens were established in 1779 by the Jamaican government so that visitors could get a place where they could uh, visitors could get a place where they could, could come and enjoy the lush greenway, the waterfalls and all of that that were here. Alright guys, so yeah man, follow me and show you some more stuff. Yeah? The peeps, that's another piece of the structure right there. Is this tree I just found out the name of this tree is Barringtonia and uh, for anyone who knows about this tree or have ever heard of this before let me know in the comment section down below it's a Barringtonia tree right very very huge I would say you mongos it look like a long palm tree I grew up in there yeah, yeah peeps so yeah we move along First breadfruit tree in Jamaica. Oh, that you yeah, guys. So this is another part of the structure. We were trying to find the first breadfruit tree that was planted in Jamaica because it was actually planted here by breadfruit blight. You remember that video I did about the breadfruit plant? Yes, but it seems that it had died. And now my battery are on low. Now my storage are on low. So, guys, you know we are soon out of here. This is the Bot Botanical Gardens. I'll show you one next little piece down here. So now, it's a really beautiful place. But I think this place is being run down. Like, it's not upkeep properly. This is being wasted. You know. And there's a lot of history over here too, guys. Alright, it's my first time coming here. And I really have to come back one next day. You know. So, the wishing well. Okay, guys, there's a wishing well right here. And as yeah, peeps, I just saw something, man. I don't know, I never see it yet. I have to find out how. Like this. It seems to be a fruit. That one kind of spoils it. One that you can eat. <coughs> you sure it's another Dorian? No. Another no, Dorian? Not sure, sir. Okay. No, okay. No. But this looks like something we can eat. Guys, if you all know what this is, this fruit right here. If you all know what this is, and this is a tree right here, let me know in the comment section down below. I'm really curious to know what this is. Um, hold on. Let me see if I can give you guys some information about this plant. Get a bite. Why it's support you can't eat. It's a type of breadfruit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, remember when we do the video, guys. Remember when I did the video, they were telling us about different types of breadfruit. This are one of them, and it can't eat. You have knife? Mm -hmm. You have knife? Knife? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I cut it. I taste it. <laughs> that yeah, guys, I taste it. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I 
Parece a Índia Nacional diz, senhor. That? Yeah. Índia Nacional diz? Yeah. Ok. Ok, me acha aí, verdade. Yeah, mas eu não vou dar uma se tá feliz. Blessings guys and thank you for watching again. If you got this far in the video, type the word Port Morant or type the word Bath in the comment section down below. Alright? And uh, if you enjoy these videos, remember you can always subscribe to Elite Jamaica by clicking the red subscribe button. And remember to turn on notifications by clicking the blue bell icon so you never miss any of my updates. Alright, until we meet again here on Elite Jamaica. Just wanna say thank you and stay blessed. Always moving on. Feel I don't belong. Tell my thoughts to move along. Push myself to be the best. Die with no regret.